right guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here and I'm out on our Bay Island course and we're talking pitching. And more importantly, we're talking about the move that feels really safe, which actually causes all the trouble. So what move is that? Pushing down, pushing forwards, trying to make sure you get the contact. Why is that such a problem? And this is the easiest way you can, um, you can think about this. I think it was James Ridiard. James Ridiard is a really well-renowned short game coach. Um, I think it was him that showed me this. Or... What happens when you pull down on the handle? Which way does the head go? So can you see the safety mechanism of I need to pull the handle close to the ball? So I'll therefore hit the ball actually makes the club stay up in the air. So then, so think about it, I'm pushing, the club doesn't want to come down. Um, never seen anyone get stuck in this position forever. So they have to find another way. And the body then does something weird and wonderful. And when I say wonderful, not particularly wonderful if you're trying to hit a good shot. So the solution is the other way around. You actually have to feel like the handle's going up, which uh, that, that sounds a bit strange, but it means you can actually feel like you push through and you turn. You know, if I'm looking at the camera here, can you see I'm lifting a bit? I've lost the bend and I've come up. So it is very similar to full swing. You know, we do, we do release that spine angle a little bit. And um, I think too often, chipping, pitching, it, it's a vicious circle. You hit a couple bad shots, you then start moving less, you stay down more, you start pulling down more. This then wants to stay in the air more, so then this starts coming in, and then all of a sudden, you start feeling like you've got the yips. It's not, you don't have the yips. You know, you, you, have, um, you have a mechanical deficiency, you don't have the yips. Yips really hard to solve. Mechanical issues, easy if you know how. So what I want you to think of this is it's okay to release the hands a little bit. Releasing the hands stops this, the pushing down. It, pushing up is quite, you know, that might be a weird one for you to feel initially, but by releasing, you can't release the head and pull down. Can you see when I pull down, head won't release. So if you're struggling with your pitching, you're trying to not use your wrists and trying to just make sure you stay down in the shot so you can at least hit the ball on the green, that is the reason why it's not going on the green. What I want you to do, in your practice swings in particular, feel like you're giving a little bit of rest. You'll notice I'm complementing it with body, but can you see I'm trying to create some flow. Best example of that, um, Jordan Spieth won a couple of weeks ago in Texas, um, missed the green on, I believe it was 15, short of the green, he did three practice swings like this, boosh, boosh, boosh. What, what are those practice swings about? I'm going to hit a good shot, I'm going to get it up and down, watch this. Not, uh oh, uh oh, oh it's my turn. So use the practice swing, feel the release. So then when you come to hit the shot, can you see I've come up a little bit, I've released a little bit. You'll, even if you look at that, it wasn't the best of strikes. Um, the, the type of grass we've got here in southwest Florida with the grain can be quite severe. So if you give it a chance to wrap around, stop your club working, it will. At least if you've got the good intention, you'll hit it on the green. So actually trying to hit great shots is the way to hit the green. If you just try to hit the green, just do some of this. Unfortunately, that can be the reason for your troubles. So thanks for watching. Um, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that's been struggling a bit with your pitching, but somebody that it's seen them like they were pretty good. So you're pretty good. And then through the rounds and the months, it started to get worse and worse. Um, 
sometimes something like this is, is the reason. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, be happy. Hope to catch you soon.